Okay, here's a quick recording on how to record a path in Google Earth. So first of all, we're going to zoom to the area that we want to create a path for. So let's try London. So we'll just zoom in to where we want to be. And that's not close enough, so let's go in all the way down. So, for instance, we wanted to start a path. We're going to go up to Tools, no, Add Path. This window comes up, so we're going to call this London Leg 1, perhaps. Uh, we're going to make it a nice, let's make a nice bright uh, green color. Let's crank it up to uh, with the four opacities fine. We will change that to kilometers. So now all we need to do is start clicking. So if we wanted the route to start here, we just need to keep clicking points to create the route that we want to follow. And click as many. We can actually click and drag and get a whole bunch. Uh, if we don't like those, we can just hit the delete key and it will delete them. <clears throat> but as I mentioned in my email, if whichever one is selected, the next one, uh, the next point will form after it. So if I highlight and click this one, I can move it. Or if I then create another point, it will create it after it. So hit the delete key to remove it. So whichever one's highlighted, any click will create a point after it. Or you can just highlight and delete a point using the delete key. Pretty simple at that point. So let's just make a, oops, see there I go, not listening to the rules. Highlight the end, create a point, point. We need to pan over. We can zoom, and we can say the route's going to go through here and over to there. So we'll call that our route. So, okay. So now over here on the left, we have London Leg 1. If I double click on it, it should show me the entire route. So even if I was zoomed way out and somewhere else in the world, and I double clicked it, it should take me and show me that route. So boom. There's our route. If I want to edit, I'm going to right click and say get info. And unfortunately it doesn't list all my points, but again it's the same editing dialog as before. We can pick a point and move it. We can say, no, no, we wanted the route actually to go through here. Delete that one. And I'm going to delete that one. So we've modified our route. We're good with that. So once we're okay with that, we can do a file save place as. Now we can save it to wherever we like. I prefer the KML files. Um, I think they're going to be easier to work with. We can take them into GPS um, units as well. Uh, KMZ I think also does but is not widely supported so stick with the KML so we can export that to the desktop and away we go so that's it for that guy so now we can pass that file around so if I was to delete this now yes I'm sure I want to delete that but then I go to my desktop and I open so here it is London leg one and I open that, boom, there it is, right back in. So that's how we can do it. We can pass around these files, and that should be the good way to do it. Uh, I am also, I think I'm going to do another tutorial to show that we can pass these files around and see them on mobile devices. So if I email this to someone, they can click and open it on Google Earth in their iPhone or BlackBerry. It works very, very well.